Allport syndrome is a rare condition that affects the kidneys, the inner ear and the eyes. It was first described by Cecil Alport in 1927 who noticed that the condition affected families, with the male members becoming more severely affected. He concluded that it must be inherited in some way. In 1992 this was proven with the discovery of the gene COL4-alpha5. A mistake or mutation in this gene was proven to cause Alport syndrome. The COL4-alpha5 gene is on the X chromosome. A male has XY chromosomes and a female has as XX. As men only have one X chromosome, they get one copy of the COL4 alpha 5 gene, whereas a female gets two. So if the gene is faulty, men don't have a second X chromosome with a healthy version of the gene to compensate, which means they develop Alport syndrome. Females with one faulty gene are carriers of Alport syndrome and they have milder symptoms. Since the discovery of COL4 alpha 5, Two other genes have been found to cause Alport syndrome. These three genes are necessary to make chains of a protein called collagen 4. The three chains wrap together to form a structure called a trimer, and so if one of the chains is not made because of a faulty gene, the trimer fails to form. Interestingly, this trimer is found only in the kidney filters, the inner ear and the eye, the exact same places affected by Alport syndrome. Today, it is possible to perform a genetic test to diagnose Alport syndrome, but despite being able to confirm the diagnosis, a cure is not yet available. Hearing loss is a major problem, and in the most severe cases, the kidneys completely shut down, which means dialysis or a kidney transplant are needed. The collagen 4 protein affected in Allport syndrome is needed to make special scaffolds for cells to hold onto. The scaffolds are called basement membranes and in the kidney, filter cells called podocytes cover the basement membrane. The podocyte has a remarkable resemblance to an octopus with lots of legs and feet. In Allport syndrome, podocytes can't make the right collagen 4 and over time the basement membrane becomes damaged and kidneys lose their ability to filter properly. Here at the University of Manchester, we are studying the basement membrane in the kidney filters. We also look how all the proteins are changing with a technique called mass spectrometry. By growing podocytes in the lab, we can study how they make the special collagen 4 and how they form a basement membrane. These studies help us to understand exactly what goes wrong at the protein level, and this knowledge could lead to the design of effective treatments for Alport syndrome. My name is Sophie. I am a medical student based in the Wellcome Trust Centre for Cell Matrix Research at the University of Manchester.